Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to our necromantic tower. Look, okay, I may be a techro necromancer, but I would have felt far too bad leaving you on that cliffhanger for too long. So, we have unlocked our cat in the end of the last episode, which was so much longer than I was expecting our first one to be. I don't know if that is a sign that the game is a little bit easier, or it's just a product of the fact that I am quite familiar with a lot of the mechanics. I think it's probably the second that uh, I played the first game, and so I understand more or less what I'm doing right from the get-go. Still, that was a much longer run than I was expecting. Right, we've unlocked the cat. Allows you to summon a resource-collecting cat. Cooldown is every 140 seconds. The duration is every 10 seconds, and the next level will pull down the cooldown and increase the duration, but it costs a thousand and two hundred shiny golden coins. There are other things we can unlock, though. Uh, I can unlock the Meteor Repeater, enables the Meteor Shower Spell, the Acid Fog Generator, we can get the Tesla Machine, enables the Lightning Spell, the Magic Smithy, allows you to repair the dead in selected area. Ooh... I think that's basically a healer spell. Uh, teleport receiver allows you to teleport your dead to the tower. Oh, this one is huge. That one is your, um, uh, your panic. Oh, no, I'm about to die uh, button. Ancient map de uh, decoder increases the number of libraries on the map. Rare blueprints can be found in distant libraries. Oh, okay. Now, uh, we've also got the necromancer's table produces bone body parts every night. And also got the bioreactor produces lizard body parts every night. Uh, we can't afford the Statue of Majesty, which would increase the number of Titans allowed on the map. A lot of people said, oh, couldn't you have just made more Titans? If you missed it in... I, I didn't really bring attention to it, and that's my bad. I really should highlight things. Usually, I will quite... Uh, I, I, I verbally announce my thoughts, but I saw the lock icon on all of the other Titan... Uh, Titan... Um, slots so i just assumed i couldn't make any more and this confirms that but i should have drawn attention to it a little bit more clearly uh the cursed smithy produces steel golem and cursed armor body parts every night we've also got the assembly line produces mechanoid and cybersaurus cybersaurus and finally the aviary produces harpy body parts okay well we've got a lot of things we can unlock also this over here the field generator enables a force field spell right well i definitely want to be able to heal i definitely want to be able to teleport uh, looks like this needs 3,000 to upgrade any further. Currently allows us to teleport the dead to the tower. Distance 4? Distance 4. Hmm. Maybe I have to have them... Oh, maybe that's the AoE of it, so I, I could pull in more dead, maybe? The Magic Smithy currently allows me to restore 500 HP. Uh, yeah, I think the distance is basically the AoE, the range of the spell uh, around where it's cast. The next level will be 1,000. Okay, well, let's go down here first, though. We have got things to unlock, you see. We've got the roller skates, doubles the speed of creatures the player controls. I don't control that many, though. The crown of power, a dead who destroys an enemy lair, restores to full HP. And the unexploded mine, a dead receives 200 plus maximum HP when close to the tower. This I like for our defenders. Also, I'm going to unlock another artifact slot because I quite like this one, too. I do not care to unlock this one for a thousand. Not for roller skates. Maybe if we get some truly amazing artifact later on, then possibly. You're making biscuits in your cat bed, and that is adorable beyond measure. Uh, we could get some extra body parts. I would like the acid fog, though. That I remember that spell being very useful. Enables acid fog, damage 25, duration 6 seconds, and cooldown 100 seconds. So we'll keep that in reserve until we absolutely need it. Uh, let's see... I wouldn't mind finding more libraries. I'm not going to lie, that sounds pretty good. Sure, we're going to pick that one up. It's 10,000 for the next one. Increasing the number of libraries on the map. Uh, next level will have epic blueprints found in distant libraries. Oh, okay. So it upgrades the rarity of the blueprints. I see. I like that. I like that as a, as a uh, gating mechanic for progress. All right, we'll spend the rest on the bones here. Produces bones every uh, night, four bone parts. That's actually quite a lot, to be fair. Uh, we could get one more thing, the test machines. Enable the lightning spell. You know what? A little bit of extra damage that I can do is an awful thing. 200 damage. That's enough to take do a good chunk of damage to a, uh, to a lair, assuming I can use it on uh, distant lairs. But okay, that's good enough for me. Time for us to jump into another game, I think. All right. Portal discs. 
because it's the only one we've unlocked. Sadly, I really feel that we were probably not that far from being able to unlock the other one, but we just needed a little bit more. You've received your first spell. In fact, I've received my first three. Find out how it works. Hover your mouse button over the, the spell button. Oh, yes, that, no, that's fine. Cat, go forth. Grab me gubbins. Ah, marvelous gubbins. Also, activate all of the things. Cat is best spell. Let's be honest now. Right, with that active, let's have a look. What are we going to put together? Can I afford to put together any particularly good creations? I can put together a Bassard Orc. Can't put together a skeletal mage expat, sadly. All right, Bassador, it is. Let, let me select you. Pop. There we go. Uh, I could only do one of those. Sad but true. Uh, you can head out immediately. Uh, in fact, you can head out immediately. Immediately, go grab me some more gubbins. Uh, let's put together an orc skeleton if we can. Now it really does pay to make a body specifically out of the correct parts. When you can. We, we don't have the necessary components right now to make that happen, but uh, we'll just go ahead with you. Uh, you can also go out and grab uh, some various uh, resources. The first couple of dead that you raise, I feel, should be directed largely. Ooh, what is that? Okay, that looks very, very spangly. But the first couple should be directed towards gathering resources more than anything else. Let's grab all these. Uh, we don't have enough legs, really, but we'll make do, I guess. Actually, I should really be in here just keeping an eye on all of this. Anything unlocked? No, absolutely nothing. Fair enough. Uh, that w Actually, we can probably pop you down there. Okay. You're half flesh, half, uh, half bone. I don't know if you're going to enjoy this, but uh, I think it's going to look funny. Right, we need to get a lot of uh, mana, though, for that. Okay, let's get you out there as well. Off you go. Enjoy. I really like that sword. That is a good attack spell for a defender, perhaps. And actually, a decent attack spell for... Okay, we need to bring a couple of our peeps back. Uh, not you, but you need to go back to the tower, and you need to go back to the tower since you're both right there. But uh, it's a decent uh, defense spell, I feel. But also good on someone who's just out resource gathering, because it gives you a little bit of defense. You don't need a whole lot, really. All right, do we have anything in here? So close to another Bastard Orc skeleton. So very close. Uh, you can continue just grabbing all of the things. Cat is almost ready to go. I don't think we need to use our spells here, though honestly, I could. I could just have that spell uh, available. Oh, re new relic, okay. All dead receive plus 10 armor, but their speed is reduced by 20%. Wouldn't mind that, actually. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind that one at all. Right, you can go back out and grab resources, same with you. Don't need anyone defending the tower anymore. We should be good. And Cat can also go and grab resources, which is gonna free you guys up from doing this. So it looks like they, something I noticed in the last uh, episode, it looks like they will go to where they were pathfinding, even if the circumstances change. Like, I saw people heading out to destroy a layer that had been destroyed before they got there, but they got to the layer before they moved, they, decided on a new location which is a bit of a pain oh, I'm not gonna lie that, that one's a bit of an annoyance uh, can I put together a an orc skeleton with armor no no I cannot that is a shame I'm gonna need more body parts frankly I could perhaps set someone up to destroy layers specifically that might be worthwhile uh, I may also use my Lightning spell, I'm thinking, or my acid fog, just so I don't have to pull back my uh, resource gatherers all the time. I think it's going to be important for them to be out there gathering the resources. Oh, we can now make a bastard orc skeleton. Let's get you made, got gathering resources once again. There we go. I'm going to try and release the uh, the minions specifically to uh, where possible, based on the uh, the prototypes that we've unlocked. Okay, you're in a bit of a bind, aren't you? And let's get that more gather up. Pow! You're good. Enjoy. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and deal with you. That will kill them, but I think I'm going to run out. I probably should have allowed them to get closer, shouldn't I? That was a bit of a misstep on my part. Right, let's set you up to come back. And whomp. 
There you go. You can immediately defend. Right. And once those are gone, you can also head out again. There we are. We're being much more proactive with sending our peeps out to deal with uh, the scallywags out in the field. Could drop you a heal in a moment, since you're having a bit of a, an issue. After the dead is destroyed, 10% of the mana spent on its creation is restored. Ooh, that would be very useful, but let's just pop you back full health and immediately build that if I can afford it. Uh, oh no, it was an artifact, was it? My bad. I don't have another attack spell, sadly. So that is not going to be a thing that happens. I could perhaps save you, but honestly, you're doing okay-ish. You're ish okay. You'll probably survive. Yeah, you've got this one. Not too bad at all. all right, we've got the sanding workshop. Marvelous. That means we're going to be able to get our bones with more HP. Do we have anything I can create? We do have a bastard orc skeleton. I think we will get one of you up and running. There we go. And release you straight away. But I do now need to make a guard, I feel. Alright, so let's have a look through what we've got. We've got a lizard part. We've got a lizard body armor, which is quite nice. Good, good bit of regen on that. Uh, we could go with... I mean, the shield isn't terrible. Shield and axe, I think, would be decent ones. And then... Just orc legs. That gives us a nice bit of defense. And you can live here protecting the tower. Uh, I will then try and put together another orc skeleton. We'll go with this, the mace. Sadly, we don't have... Uh, well, you're magical. What I would love is just a regular armored orc there, but it's fine. We'll also grab the orc skeleton head there as well. And you two together should be able to hold this one. Oh, we've made the orc punisher. Armor plus 5, speed plus 15, damage plus 1, vampirism plus 20 on a creature that already has huge vampirism. 35. Okay, what was uh, necessary for that then? It looks like we just need armored components except for the body and the, the face which have to have the masks. Okay, that's actually really, really nice. Really nice indeed. I'm very, very much in favor of anything that has vampirism. Uh, I think I prefer regeneration over vampirism, strictly speaking, because that's not predicated on you doing damage. Still, I think that's actually pretty nice. Uh, we could go ahead and build a titan already, and I see no reason not to. Um, hmm. I kind of feel that we need to not... Uh, the, the regen is amazing, though. But yeah, the, the the slowdown there is just crazy. I greatly disapprove of it. 65 speed here. I think we can manage that. I'm going to need a lot of flashy body parts, a lot of bone body parts. Let's see what we've got. Have we got even remotely enough? I doubt it. Okay, that's what we're going to build, but we're going to build that later. All right, cat, go forth. Cat does not care about enemies. Enemies know better than to attack cat. They'd be fools. Mad fools. Right. At this point, I kind of need some people to go out and destroy layers. I think that would be a wise course of action. We've got a stagnant pool. Oh, this is a rare one. Brings two lizard or swamp creature body parts every nightfall. Oh, now that is amazing. Build it right away. We absolutely want that. Uh, is there anything we can make? nice and fast. We can make one nice and fast. Uh, sure, let me set that one to destroy layers. We are going to make one of you. Let's get you out there. And do we have a portal next to one? Uh, we do. Go ahead and release you. Now that's only got 250. I could do a good bit of that damage with my lightning spell, but do you have any kind of Regen? Oh, you don't. We've got vampirism, but that's it. I don't want to c control you. You should be on your own. Uh, reduces the cost of arriving body parts with flesh. We're going to be doing a lot of that if we've got lizard parts. I imagine swamp parts also count for that. Uh, there we go. Nicely done. Uh, we are under attack down here, though. My defender should hold the fort, but uh, looks like there was a little bit of trouble there. Nothing too terrible, but still could have been a little bit better. 
Uh, let's switch our spawn back to the castle for now. Now, do we have enough to make just a pure lizard? Have we even unlocked pure lizards? I, uh, we've got the lizard stormtrooper, actually. That might not be a bad one, then. Um, we also only need one more skeletal part here to make another orc punisher skeleton. That is definitely something I would like to go for. Uh, we've got armored lizard parts. I do like those. Uh, the disc is a solid 40 damage, and the explosive is 42. Uh, what body do we want to give you? I wouldn't mind giving you an orc body, sure. You're going to be going out from the tower to destroy layers, and hopefully, for one of the first places. No, you don't consider this. Oh, man, I really want people to go out and destroy these libraries, though. Why is that library being allowed to live? Most vexing, you know, to the point that I'm afraid I'm going to need to bring one of you back down here. Let's get down there. Let's bust open this library. It's right next to us. Come on. This one's been there for ages and no one's been taking care of it. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, keep it up. Just a little bit to go now. And then you can be released. There we go. Blood soaked bone body parts. Not bad. Let's get that made. That one's actually a really easy one to go through. The, the blood baths are a nice upgrade path, I feel. Nice and easy. I could help you out a little bit, but you look like you've got this sorted. So I think I'm just going to leave that to you. Ooh, we just lost one of our resource gatherers, which is a bit of a shame. But all right. Uh, now then, in terms of the next layer, we've got one over there, it seems. Have we got much down here? This is probably where we just lost someone, actually, thinking about it. That definitely looks like the place where we, uh, where we said goodbye to someone. Let's get the cat out again. You can do some amazing work. We are getting the Lizardman Blaster. We've got the Swamp Leg. This is just absolutely bonkers good. Expensive, though. Very expensive, in fact. But let's get it. As well as the amphibian leg, so you can move quickly through water. We'll give you an amphibian blaster. Uh, sure, orc body. What else are we going to give you? Honestly, I wouldn't mind giving you the... Uh, the sword arm. Ragman's room. The cheapest body part remains at the place of every dead's destruction. Ooh. So we'd be able to pick it back up. It's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, let's give you a lizard head as well, so we've got some good regeneration. Now, do I want you just out killing enemies, or do I want you to go... No, I want you to go for... Ooh, actually, I should double-check that you haven't just given me something amazing. Uh, you have, in fact, given me something amazing. Let's go for the spear. That's a very, very nice weapon. And we'll give you an armored leg down there. All right, other than that, good to go. Yeah, we're going to have you out there just attacking more layers but let's pick a spot for you to start at i think down here is where we want to release you you can join up with the others that way you're all going to be together that blaster has got a good good range now, i can only assume that this is like a, a dot there so we'll hopefully be quite potent uh we need to bring back one of my most distant yeah we're gonna we're gonna have you go back I'm going to let you grab this first, but we're sending you back to the, the base so that you can grab all of the various gubbins that has been left around here thanks to the fighters. Ooh, we've got an elite there. I may have brought you back at a bad time. I do apologize for that. Actually, you seem to be doing okay. We've lost one of the main attackers. Okay. Nice on taking that out. Warm storage gives the fleshy dead the rotting remains ability. HP of body parts with flesh is reduced by one, but the dead leaves behind a cloud of rot when destroyed, dealing damage proportional to the number of fleshy body parts it had. It's an interesting ability. I kind of like it. We do need this to go down quickly, though. Wait, 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 wait before you die. Pop! No, you don't. There we go. I need to be using that ability a lot more often. That was very silly of me not, not to uh, be on top of that one, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, right, let's have a look. Do we want to go... Oh, that's expensive, though. 
Uh, whereas I think grabbing this is going to be a pretty solid one. These are both one and done rooms. We only have a, a single upgrade potential there. Do we have any dead that we can put together? I really do wish that it would sort the dead that you can make right to the top so I don't have to scroll the list each time. That would be super nice. Sadly, no. Uh, do we have enough for just a regular orc body? We do. Let's see if we can pop this together. We've got, yeah, orc skeleton head. Do we have just regular orc skeleton arms? We do. Okay, axe and mace. Let's see if this makes something fun. I want a new uh, material gatherer here. There we go. Skeleton orc cutthroat. Speed, view, damage. Doesn't have a lot in terms of its ability to uh, ga uh, regenerate, but I'm okay with that for now. Uh, we lack the parts, though. We really do need to get more group parts together. Wouldn't mind getting another orc punisher out again. Uh, I know I've said that before, but uh, they look very, very nice, and they can keep themselves alive for a long time. Right, cat, go. Thank you very much, cat. Right, how are you doing over there? Do you have any real survivability? You've got vampirism, but that's all you have, which is not the best. What on earth are you fighting? On the plus side, though, if you make a strong resource gatherer, they will pick up the, their own gubbins from... Uh, from slain enemies, which is actually quite a nice ability there. I think we'll be getting out our first Titan very soon, though. Very, very soon, if we're lucky enough. Uh, we've got... Oh, we've just lost another orc there. Sad times are these. Right, our layer slayers are heading up. Layer slayer, I like that. We're going to keep it. Uh, let's have a look. Do we have enough components now to make maybe... Ooh, we've got the swamp spirit head. Swamp stench is quite nice. Let's get you. Do we have... We don't have swamp legs, but we do have lizard man legs. Let's make something powerful for a resource gatherer. We do want it to be reasonably fast, though, as well. So nothing that's going to pull speed down too much. It would be lovely if I could sort the inventory based on things like that. That would actually be amazing. But uh, I do want to make them strong enough to protect themselves. Uh, okay, that is a good attack there. And I guess... Sure, we'll have the... Uh, the so well, we'll go full magic, actually, here. Bring two skeleton or zombie parts at nightfall. That's going to be a solid one. And at this point, let's go with you. Gives us a little bit more armor. Right, let's get you out and about. You can just go out from the base. That should do you well. And let's see what we can add in here. I don't see any reason not to get the body part components. I really want the flashy dead, though. Do we save up for that? Or do I max out bone body parts, give another 15 HP? That seems like a solid option. Uh, brings additional skeleton or... These are both really good. But we don't have enough... No, we're going to save. We're going to save. If I don't save now, I'll never save. So, we're just going to have to live with it. Right, where am I dead and how are they doing? Uh, you're doing okay, but you could do with a little top-up, I think. But right now, you're happy gathering gubbins. Mm. And I'm happy to let you gather gubbins. We have lost one of my layer attackers. Shame. Let's see what I can do over here. I don't have much in the way of spells that I can use to back you up, but we can see. Right, you're almost dead. Heal. Also drop light. Uh, actually, you got this. Well done. Very well done. Super happy with that. That's going to clean things up a lot for us. And our defenders are doing a bloody good job so far. All right, I think it's time for the Titan, though. We might be able to get you together at this point. Let's go for cheap body parts first for the bones. Uh, I really should try and make uh, an orc, uh, sorry, a skeleton ranger. Uh, we'll go with... I don't want to use the armor parts. We'll go with these legs instead. There we go. Now we just need to finish off the flesh. And unfortunately, that's going to be very expensive for us. There are going to need to be a lot of flesh body parts. And uh, that's not going to come cheaply. Uh, we'll hold off on the rest. We're, we're part of the way there. 
part of the way there, and we'll get the rest of the way there soon enough, I'm sure. Ooh, we've now got enough to get the rotting de dead. There we go. Perfect. Nice. All right. Continue moving out, my minions. All bone body parts cost one mana when revived and when burned. Now, that kind of scuppered us a little bit last time because it was really hard to get mana after that. Uh, so I'm going to hold off on getting that until I've got a lot of things that bring me flesh body parts a day. But then, yeah, sure, we'll get the, bo the bone body parts as well. But for now, we're going to hold off. Uh, do we have anything I can put together? I can make a orc cutthroat. That's glorious. Uh, sure. Let's make another one of you for resource gathering. Actually, we'll make two of you for resource gathering. And we shall release you forthwith. Okay. Hopefully you can handle these enemies here without too much trouble. Yes. Yes, you can. We've got a good stream of enemies coming down from up here, though. That's a little bit of a problem. Ah, looks like our uh, swamp lizard man laserer is on the job. Thank you. Uh, we're going to try and pop together a... I don't have a lizard man with a... Uh, Armored body, though, unfortunately. Got kind of odds and sods parts, but sure, we'll pop something together here. Increases the damage of all melee weapons by two. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, getting some interesting parts at the very least. You know what? I may as well use the armored body, sure. And since you're going to be going out there to destroy layers, I do need you to have a good chance of that. The throwing axe spell is kind of nice, but I would love a blast. The disc will do, I think, though. All right, let's get you made. And we are going to send you out. Did you manage to take it out? You did. Well done, you. We'll send you out from the base again so you go to the nearest one from the tower. I think that would be uh, an ideal attack path. That was actually very nice there. Very nice indeed. We've only got a few more seconds, though, before badness and sadness arrives. Let's see if I can't put together the remaining flesh parts that we need. You know what? At this point, I'm just going to dedicate everything to this goal. Except the explosive. That's rare. Uh, we are almost there. We've got it. Okay. So, Titan. Be revived. And for now, be defend. And that means you can go out and attack layers instead. We don't need more than the Titan defending, I don't think. We should be alright to handle this one. Especially when whatever shows up comes our way. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but... Uh, resource the Tower's durability over time. That is a must. Uh, where is it? There we go. Let's build you straight away. And sure, we'll increase the damage of all melee weapons. That'll be a nice one. All right. Tower's looking very swanky right now. I'm loving having all of these different uh, components just hanging off the side of the tower rather than building out of the base. All right, let's see how you handle. Uh, brings two Cyclops or Mummy body parts every nightfall. Okay. Well, that is marvelous. I very much want that. Very much want that. Okay. Titan is doing an amazing job of just nothing ever gets to the uh, the tower, and I'm a-okay -okay with this. I should have you out there trying to destroy uh, destroy uh, the layers, but I think we're okay for now. Feeding makes your fleshy dead more resilient. 15 HP for every flesh body part. Ooh. I like it. And let's have a watch of how the Titan handles this fight. You're not protecting the tower as much as I would love you to. Not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Lost another resource gatherer, sadly. There we go. Do we get any new body parts from that one? Yes, we do. Master of the Flesh Head. Speed down, regeneration 2, health 450, view 15. Okay. Not terrible. Once we can have two uh, titans at the same time, that is going to be a huge help for us because it will allow us to send our titan, uh, one titan uh, out to destroy layers, the other one to hang back and protect the, the tower itself. We lost one, they must have gone to a different area, but you're doing a really good job here. How about you though? 
Uh, you seem to just be ignoring damage, which I, I'm absolutely loving for you right now. Well done, you. Right, I'm just going to have the Titan here, just doing its bit. Cats can go out occasionally, grab all of the resources the Titan has uh, created around the tower. Probably a good way of gathering all of those. And other than that, we'll just have a couple of very powerful layer destroyers heading out here and there. I think this is going to be grand. Do we have enough to make an armored lizard yet? No, still not. Sadness. Okay, just added in the pyramid section. So uh, getting the materials is a slow and arduous process, but I have noticed that we can get a lot of specialist undead here. That is going to be amazing for us. Uh, I would like, yeah, definitely get two Orc Punisher skeletons. We are going to set them up for resource gathering. So let's get you, both of you created. One, two. We could even get a skeleton cutthroat out there as well, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to go with... Uh, well, we can only get one of the bastards. Uh, have we got any others? No, we lack the other armoured leg parts. Okay, uh, then of the two, I think we're going to go with the Skeletal Orc Cutthroat as well. Right, okay. We are going to release you to gather resources a bit further away, I think. Let's see. Down here looks like a good place. Go forth. Gather all of the resources. Oh, wait. No, oh, I wasn't fast enough to pause. That is a shame. That is a grand shame. Can I do a bunch of damage? I can. So I, now I can see it. I can just slowly take it out. Uh, but we're going to need some more dedicated layer destroyers out there. I would like you to go up this way. Oh, I paused it. Unfortunately, can I reprioritize you? No. I might be able to. Oh, wait. You haven't got any amphibious body parts, do you? No, never mind. You can't uh, cross the water there. That's a shame. That is a crying shame. All right, Titan is doing well down here, but I think Titan can... Oh. Keeping that Titan here purely to defend against the special undead that are showing up seems to make some sense. Wow, that is a hell of a bit of knockback you got there. My goodness. What the heck is this? That is a very strong attack there. We've also got Cyclops arms. All right, we've got two lizard heads. Let's go with the swamp body for the leeches. I think the armoured explosive, armoured disc, and two armoured legs. You're going to be set up for layer destruction. You've got a good bit of regen, good bit of health. You cost a fair bit to make, uh, which is a decent enough uh, way of deciding who's who. Let's go with the boar mask orc, the body of a living orc, the orc arm, fleshy as well. The orc shield wouldn't be terrible, but I think we'll go with the mace. And then two orc legs. There you go. Let's make you. And I wonder if you just happen to make the the right kind of body type to have qualified for one of the uh, the cost reductions, or whether it would be applied. Let's go for the mantis head. We are going to want uh, orc wolf skin body. Uh, orc spell lizard arm with bomb to give us. Uh, Amphibious, and then sure, we'll grab these two. There we go. Get you set up as well. I want one more as well. Ooh, got the fairy leg. Not great speed, honestly. Uh, let's go with the Cyclops leg and the Orc leg with boot. We will pick the disc again so that we've got Amphibious. Uh, the fact that I can get Amphibious with an arm is just amazing. Uh, we'll also give you the orc armor with shield. This is a huge amount of armor. Wow. Uh, we will go with the armor and regen from that. And the head as well, so even faster across water. And let's release the cat. We want mm, a couple more, actually, if we can afford them. I want to send out a good group to go and do this. Uh, we could get the ripper skeletons. We'll create one of you. And let's have a look through here. Could get a skeletal soldier as well. Not really too fast. It does look like they are being sorted to the top, though. I it was commenting on that earlier, and I feel bad now. I was just unobservant. It is sorting ones you can make to the top, so I don't need to scroll. If I don't see something at the top, then I can't make anything. Uh, <laughs> think before you speak, Avec. Yeah, a lesson 
for the ages. Right, let's grab you as well. That's enough. All right, release the horde. Where are we going to release them from, though, is the question. What on earth is going on there? Uh, we will release them... Sure, from here. Go forth and destroy all of the layers. Oh, they are splitting up well. Okay, I like it. They should be able to do some good damage there. And I don't think anything is realistically going to threaten the Titan. Uh, not for now, anyway. Uh, two Swamp Legs would be quite nice. They are Amphibian as well for having these. Uh, oh, let me uh, cancel all of these. I didn't mean to shove you in the pot, but I've done that now, so I can't take it back. We want... Well, we don't need the Lizard components now, then. So I could go with the Cyclops arm. The Lizard components are quite strong, though. Uh, sure, we'll go with the spear. Now, it's going to be a while before we put this one together. Ooh, the mummy bo body. Regeneration 2. Decent health. Low speed, though. I wonder what the gimmick of the mummy type is. Oh, one of them's already down. Uh, two of them are already down. Fair enough. Well, I guess we're going to get this a lot faster. faster. Uh, view is very bad for a Cyclops. Poor Cyclops. Poor Cyclops. Man. Uh, we will set you up for just destroying enemies, I think. Get you out there. Then we are going to try and build a Cyclops here. Uh, we've got the Mage's Abode. Increase the damage of all magic weapons. Nice. I hope that applies retroactively to, uh, to minions out and about already. Let's get one Lizard Leg just so you can cross. Ooh, Mummy Leg. Mm. I'll pop you down there. Sure. Revive you at base. I think that should be good enough. Right. Let's get you going out from the town. There you go. Let's get you into a big old fight. Womp. Nicely done. Okay. Oh, wow. That Cyclops boulder is amazing. To be fair, they were quite amazing in the first game, too. Uh, resource gatherers. I, I don't think they're ever going to leave this area because the, the Titan and the, the fighters here are generating so much loot for them to pick up. It's just always amazing. Right. <laughs> Cat's going to be so confused. Cat's like, where do I go? There's so much loot. I'm going to spend all my time dancing between two locations. Never actually collecting any of it. Ah, Such a cat thing to do. Do I want to be outside? Do I want to be inside? Do I want to be outside? Do I want to be inside? Do I want to be outside? Do I want to be inside? Right. You're coming with me. I wish I had someone faster, actually. So you're coming with me. We're going to go and destroy that library over there. I wish there was something I could do to tell them to destroy libraries specifically. That would be absolutely amazing. Wait a second. I've got something that can destroy libraries e easily. Oh, there we go. All our magic weapons get plus one damage. Perfect. Right, let's go and spend some of our hard-earned. Uh, feeding your flesh. Mm, maybe. But I want more orc body parts. I would like... Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get the extra HP then. Okay, getting somewhere now. Liking it. Not bad build. Now, I should perhaps start investing in my second Titan already. But mm, I feel that, that might be a poor move ultimately. Let's have a look around on the map. Is there more stuff that I can work on? Wow, you've already gone up to the very edge. Well done, you. I'm very impressed. Are there any other locations that I could perhaps destroy stuff with lightning later? Let's have a look through here. You can see where we're some of my minions have been able to cross rivers. Ah, you're doing a good job down here, actually. You are losing loads of health and then gathering loads of health, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, you could probably do it with a top up on your health, though. Let's give you that now. Rather than later. There you go. Leeches are off and about. Yeah, actually, they're doing quite well, to be fair. Oh, so I say that and someone dies. Maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. Oh, well. Too late now. Uh, right, let's head on back. Titan's already almost back to full health, and as is the tower, which is glorious. Right, we've got a load of cash that we can invest. Let's get... Increase the damage of all magic weapons and non-magic weapons. This is definitely going to be held off for a little while longer. I want to be absolutely guaranteed that I'm getting stupid amounts of body parts, because right now, I get a lot of mana for burning these, and I'm generating a lot of them. I'm not even sure if I'm ever going to go for the other one, if I'm perfectly honest. That almost feels like a trap. 
Right, let's see. We want... Oh, we've got a lizard. Oh, we haven't got a body for the lizard with armor, though. A shame. Uh, Book of Poison. I wouldn't mind taking that with you. In fact, let's go with the Book of Poison and the... Yeah, we'll go with the Boulder Attack. And we're just making something that's going to be good at taking on layers right now. So, adding a little bit more Amphibiousness. And... We've got a zombie leg with a boot. Eh, not really something for me, but we'll possibly have a look at it. Right, okay, you should be decent to go out there and have a fight. Or maybe I should get you resource collecting. Actually, sure. The leeches will be a good one for you to use for resource collection. Since you're going to be able to uh, direct them very easily. Off you go. And you should, I would hope... Yeah, there we are, going straight for the resources down here. The Sculptor's Workshop gives the dead the uh, Terra Mortis ability. When killed, the dead become a stone statue with durability equal to max durability of the destroyed dead. The statue does not deal damage to enemies, but distracts them for a while. Oh, well, I mean, you know, that's actually pretty cool. Some more use in death. All right, I'm, I'm really liking the uh, wraith uh, buildings that we're getting at the moment. Very much liking them. Gonna need to save up a good bit of cash for that one, though. Sadly. Right, release the cat. Go forth, kitten. Be the fastest resource gatherer. There you go. Uh, okay, they're going for enemies. Okay, you got like a little... We really need to upgrade the cat a lot. Like, when, once we've pushed out beyond that like little inner circle there... Yeah. Yeah, that's not, it's not great. Uh, could help out here a little bit. Sure. Will at least kill all of the enemies that were attacking you. How are you doing there? Uh, they are attacking, but you're regenerating quite well. And I don't actually think they can get through your armor? You got 17 armor, yeah. I don't think their weapons do 17 damage. So you're just completely negating it. How beautiful. Uh, there we go. That's the, the reason why we should be going for good armor then. Can I make a proper zombie? Got well, zombie legs. Let's see, can I can I put together a zombie sorcerer of some sort? Maybe not. Zombie archer? Well, let's go for a zombie ranger if we can. Got a zombie body. Got a zombie head. Well, in that case, let's just go for regular zombie legs. Let's have a look. What will we get for a meal? Yep, a dead shot. Okay. Not great, but it's a zombie. What was I expecting, frankly? Uh, do we want to try something with the zombie boots? Maybe we can put something together there. Mm, we've got zombie ar arm with armor and sword. Uh, zombie arm with a shield. I don't think this is going to make a, a true zombie, but we'll see what we can do. Let's make you as well. Yeah, that just gave me a basic zombie, really. That's fine, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was controlling you the whole time. You were like, oh, when will you let me go? I'm, I'm doing my job, please. Sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, God. How very Mad Max. Uh, uh, you shoot eye lasers? Yes. I concur. Also, I'm going to make you flying. Flying eye lasers. The best sort. I guess I'm not going to need to make you uh, amphibious at this point. But there, we do have some powerful limbs for you. Could just massively increase speed. Uh, that might not be a bad call. But getting extra armor would also be very nice. The regeneration would also be very nice. Uh, sure, we'll grab that and then just add loads of extra speed. That being said... Yeah, no, that's that's good. Right, want some amazing armor here. Six armor from that shield there. Uh, mummy arms give bandages and vampirism. Hmm. Or I could get eight armor from the lizard arm with the disc. Or the lizard arm with the explosive. I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay, we've got 15 armor in total. That's not bad. It should mean that we're taking very little armor uh, armor damage in return. But I am a little bit concerned about the lack of vampirism here. Is there anything else I can do to get either loads more armor 
That's armor eight. This is um uh, yeah, that's only armor three, so sure. Let's give you that. You shouldn't need to worry about damage now. You're not as strong as you could be, but you should be bonkers dangerous to layers. And they shouldn't be able to really challenge you in return. Ah, oh, really? Blocked. Uh, I'm going to release you two over there. Hopefully you do well. Actually, I've got most of my people up top. I perhaps should have sent some of them down bottom. Oh, well. It is a thing that's been done now. Hopefully they can... Well, they're hunting for a layer over here, I'm guessing. Because they are hanging hard to the left there. No, they've changed their mind. Well, in this case, let's bring some of them back. Got a group of them together over here. Uh, sure. I'm going to pull you down. I'm going to pause you when you're all together. And pause. Teleport. Womp. There you go. You can go out and grab all of the resources that are around here. Also the cat can as well, because it's better than you. Sorry, but it's true. There we go. Uh, I don't think we need these fighters anymore. Just fighting enemies. Frankly, the Titan is just do doing all it needs to do. Alright, here we go. Next big fight. Alright, there's two of you this time. Is our Titan going to be enough? If not, we can make a better Titan. Well, vaguely. Honestly, a Titan that I'm using purely to defend, I built you for, to be less ponderously slow than the other one, and then I've basically told you, hey, yeah, don't ever leave the tower. Not the best play. Not gonna lie. Not my finest moment. Okay, you're under heavy attack. How much damage are you taking? 13 damage, and you've got how much armor? Okay, so uh, one of my dedicated uh, layer destroyers should be able to handle this. I'm not going to save you. Sorry. But it was going to happen. I know. That's very bad of me. Also, I wasn't even watching the fight down here. I was that confident. Uh, doesn't look like we're getting new new uh, Titan bits, though. Sad. Right. We'll release you in a moment. There we go. All down. Do we get any more bits? No, we don't. Uh, even more sad. Okay. All right, well, let's get you out there. We're not sending you up top. We are going to send you... Sure, down here. Go do your thing. And you can just go straight over walls. Oh, my lord. But you can't see a bloody thing. Oh, it's so bad. So bad. That's what we get for making you have laser eyes. Poop. I... Neglected to pay attention to the vision radius. What is your vision radius? You've got two. Well done. Go forth. Be glorious. Uh, right, let's uh, see about buying some stuff. We can now afford some very good gubbins. Uh, I would like more additional lizard and swamp body parts. Uh, I would also like... See, could give uh, plus one damage to all my weapons, but I don't think we need that. I think we want the orc or orc skeleton body parts. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point now where I might unlock the bones. And, uh, well, we could just throw together a couple of strong components. But honestly, right now it's just a waiting game. We're just uh, looking for the, the biggest, baddest layer for us to destroy. Thankfully, although you can't see much, you seem to have a uh, sixth sense for where layers are, and also you're really fast. So I guess it doesn't really hurt too much. Too much. Hurts a little bit still, though. Uh, we've got a spot opened up. All right, let's have a quick gander at all the components we've got. We've got the orc head with boar mask. Hmm. Let's see what I can do with that. Got the, the cyclops body, actually, which is quite nice. Uh, does that have any... That has natural armor. Hmm. Do I have a better armored head? Armor 2. Armor 1, but some really nice stats. Plus fleshy, which is useful. Uh, we've got, <laughs> no, we're not We're not having the, the Cyclops head. Sorry, Cyclops head, but no. Uh, oh, we lost one of our layer destroyers. That's fine. It's, it's going to happen. I could give you flying, though, I guess. Am I making you into a layer destroyer as well? 
I would need two of these times of arms, I would think, to make that happen. Uh, we've got three, three. Yeah, we're not we're not seeing good armor on these these arms here, which is actually really sad. Uh, oh, got a mummy arm with a jed. Not sure what that is, but uh, looks kind of cool. I could pop that down there. If we can get some really good armored boots, that might compensate. Only two armor on those, though. So it's not really going to give us a huge amount of armor. It's still 11. And you fly. Uh, there is something to be said about that, but I would prefer it if I could get... Oh, there's six armor there. It would be wonderful if I could sort by certain properties that I want. Oh, that, uh, the tree strike is amazing, if I recall correctly. No, it looks like, uh, the six armor here is the best we're gonna do. 17 protection, still pretty solid. I'm gonna send you out to just attack enemies at this point. And you can set off from the base. There you go. And hopefully, while you're out attacking the enemies, you'll also pick up all of the gubbins. That would be the ideal. I'll release the cat in a moment. We've got a lot of gold right now, which is glorious. There's a good bit of knockback off that shield as well, which is really nice. Good bit of knockback there. Also, what is your vampirism? 20 vampirism and 2 regen as well, so not too bad. Right, go forth, kitten. Grab me all the money. Thank you very much. Right, where are our peeps congregating? The Layer Destroyer crew are congregating down here, so there is a possibility we're going to find ourselves the uh, the Disc Keep. Ooh, we've got something down there. Oh, there's a decent amount of damage here, too. Uh, I don't, actually don't even think I need to do that. Like, I genuinely don't. I think our, our group right now is powerful enough. Uh, have you destroyed anything of particular importance up here? No idea, but you came up here for a reason, and now you're going back down. So I'm going to assume you did. Oh, that might be a big, big assumption. Regeneration for all magical body parts. That is huge. We love that and want it. Yes, get that going. Uh, another regeneration. You know what? All the regeneration for magical body parts. That's a massive boon for us. I could get more skeleton parts. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and get loads of those coming in each night. And we'll have more option on what we built. Nice. But yeah, we are controlling the enemy so much better this run. This is a completely different game. If, if I was surprised that we did well on the first run, that was still I, completely blind to the mechanics, more or less. We are doing so much better at this point. Uh, though you are taking a bit of, bit of a pounding there. Let's uh, give you a little bit of health. There we go. You haven't got the most damage mitigation, but the fact that you're still taking that much damage when you have 17 armor is kind of scary, not going to lie. Okay, we're starting to see some very powerful enemies coming our way now. Right, let's see if I can't put together a mummy. So we've got mummy arm, mummy body, got a mummy head. We do have a mummy head. We have mummy legs. We've got some mummy legs. Uh, let's go grab mummy arm there and see what we've got. Uh, not actually a mummy. not Well, not a, a specialist one, anyway. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, okay, well, we'll grab both of these, I think. Double electric field. No, ooh, actually, ooh. Swamp spirit body and swamp spirit body with leeches. Ah, so there are two types. I think I'll give you the swamp spirit body, actually. That being said, do we have the Swamp Spirit arms and head? We don't have the head. Oh, we've got a Pharaoh mummy head. Cursing. I am liking the sound of this. I'm finding this sounding very, very nice for us. Uh, do I want the bandages or am I happy with just an electric field of 15? That isn't that powerful, honestly. I think we can do something much better than that. I would like the blaster. Actually, let's go full Cyclops here. Blaster, uh, Cyclops Boulder and Cyclops Root. Uh, we will activate you. Uh, you've got very little armor, though. 
So, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. I am going to release two people, probably up here somewhere. Oh, we lost someone. That isn't happening that often anymore. Let's find a good launch site for you. Not down here. We're clearing that area up pretty convincingly as it is. I want one over at the far end if I can find it. No. Okay. I think it was about here. It was the best for us then. All right, one is heading out to destroy... Oh, good lord! Um, all right. That's, that is quite the curse. You haven't got much armor, but I don't think you're going to need it, you crazy little creature, you. My lord. I love it. Got loads of uh, components, though. We can start upgrading some more things. Brings an additional lizard body part. Very expensive to buy that one. Uh, go ahead. Let's get uh, more blood-soaked body parts. Have a look at our towers now. Titan, I'm trying to look at the tower. This is getting very tall. I was wondering how we were going to fit everything in. It just, you just get a bigger tower over time. Fair enough. Uh, are we actually seeing any attacks coming from down here anymore? Or have we wiped out all of the layers that we uh, know about? We may well have, actually. Still got plenty of things to collect, though. So I'm thinking... Oh, there we go. We have found you. Pomp, I am absolutely going to be using this to attack you at every opportunity I have. Right, let's have a look at some of the other things that we can put together. In terms of our options, I guess that's... I'm not sure what these mean. What do they stand for? Undead... Uh, oh, sorry! Uncommon, rare, epic... I mean, that would be what I would assume, uh, based only on the the coloration. But I want some mages, so let's go ahead and pop together a skeletal mage, shall we? Some regular legs. Regular, actually, body with a cloak and a wizard's hat. I think so. All right, let's see if we can make you. And there we are, the elemental skeleton. Fire and ice. Marvellous. I approve. Uh, we will release you... Sure, from here. Go forth. Go grab all the gubbins. You are looking very happy with yourself. You actually have quite a few magical abilities, too. You've got the... Elect like, the static field because of your... Is it your head? No, it's your body. The magic shield. That's actually pretty cool. And then uh, a little bit of uh, fire and ice as well. Honestly, you should be able to get away from... I don't think you could kill them. You're not nearly strong enough. But uh, that should be... Uh, you should be fast enough to stay away. But that armor increase is going to be huge for us. All armored body parts receive plus one armor and plus one to revive and burn cost. Yes. And then more. It's going to make them a lot more expensive. But considering... Armor is what's going to keep our minions alive. It's what we need to go for. Alright, do you have enough to take them on? I don't think you do. I think this is just all... Okay, here we go. You have got... 26 armor. Even if you can't survive it, you should be able to do a good bit of uh, damage before it takes you down. Yeah, it's, it's shooting lasers. And then... Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. I guess that will work. It would be better if... Pardon me, well, I almost choke on my breath. It would be better if you had uh, assaulting teams coming from different directions. Because then the uh, the stone would distract the, the layer from attacking the, the main assaulter. Oh, still a bit of damage, but I think we can heal through this. As long as you get right in there. Now you're taking the full brunt of the damage, though. I can barely see your health. It is going down so hard. Let's pause. Uh, what? We've done it. Never mind. Well done. Uh, we were we were having a bit of a, a bit of a giggle of you not being able to see anything, but you saw enough. My goodness, you found a watcher portal. Now you can get to the new disc from the tower.
Congratulations, you complete the story objective on this disc and can move on to the next one. Would you like to leave the disc right now or stay? Uh, sure, it's one hour in. Normally I would be like, nah, let's get grab everything, but let's leave. It, we're, this is an hour long video already. And I wasn't even sure I was going to be making a second one, but you seem to enjoy the first one so much. Right, I've got a good bit of uh, cash to invest. Are we going to tell me why we're voluntarily returned to the claws of the Watchers? Yes, maybe. Curiosity killed the cat. But I am a cat. But you are a learned cat. So what? So you can figure it out for yourself, really. Haha, <laughs> so this time we'll escape through the portal, after all. What makes you think that I want to escape? You wanted to the first time. The first time, I didn't know something. Okay. But you aren't going to tell me what? I am. When? When the time comes. No one likes someone, but please, just <sighs> use scallywag. Absolute scallywag. Did we get any uh, really nice artifacts? Yeah, we did. All dead receive plus 10 armor, but their speed is reduced. That would be huge for us. After a dead is destroyed, 10% of the mana cost is sent back. Yeah, we're, we're taking this. Armor is everything, I feel. Armor is literally everything at this point. Uh, I think the cat... We could unlock the meteor spell, but no. Of course we're going to upgrade the cat. Here we go, kitten. Donk. Oh, look how learned you are. Oh, you got a little toy and everything. A little, little mouse. Is that your friend or is that another toy? Uh, allows you to summon a resource collecting cat. It's now got a cooldown of 130 seconds and a duration of 15 seconds. That is going to be big for us. But I'm afraid this is where we wrap up today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you did, do remember to massage those lovely buttons to let St. Algorithmus know. And maybe we will see a third episode in the not too distant future. But that is going to be it from me, the Necromancer, and of course, the all-important Learned Cat. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you next time. But until then, take care, everyone.